Um, portfolio management is something that's confusing for many IT and many business leaders. It's one of the hardest things for a lot of organizations to do, really because it's all about making choices and setting priorities. The purpose of portfolio management is to make sure that your organization has the right mix of projects, programs, products, services, uh, really all based on your organization's strategy. A lot of people get confused over what exactly is a portfolio. Well, the way I like to think about it is take all of your assets and your resources and think about them as an ecosystem. And your whole goal is to combine these assets and these resources together in some way so that you get the greatest return on your investment. And in reality, you can have multiple portfolios. And I too, we talk a lot about having a service portfolio. You can also have a product portfolio, a project portfolio, a customer portfolio, an application portfolio. You could have as many portfolios as you want. The whole point is you're combining these together because you believe that putting them together, you're able to better manage the resources and, and to get ultimately a higher return on your investment. Portfolio is your collection of resources. How do you manage those resources across all these different types of portfolios? We have to make choices based on the real world. We have limited resources. We only have so much money. We don't have enough people. We don't have enough time. We don't, uh, we don't have um, unlimited uh, technology and there are a lot of pressures from, uh, from the marketplace, right? So we need to make trade-offs and determine what's the most important thing to us. We have a, a phrase that we mention in a lot of our classes is that we can do anything, but we can't do everything. So we have to be able to communicate to the people within our organization, what are the most important projects that we're working on? What are the most important services that you need to be working on? Sometimes even prioritizing your customers. What are the most, who are the most important customers in our customer portfolio? So that our teams below, um, all throughout our entire organization can easily understand what are the most important things that they should be working on. Because if you think about the work that we have, uh, we all have more than eight hours of work to do in a day. We have to make decisions about what's going to get done and what might have to wait until tomorrow. It's not an easy thing to do, but number one, really the leaders in the organization need to set a clear vision about what portfolios the organization actually needs to have and set some criteria for how you're going to evaluate the portfolio. Not every portfolio that you have is going to be evaluated within uh, in the same way, but within the portfolio, you want to make sure that your um, items in the portfolio, in each portfolio are standardized and coordinated in some sort of way. Number two, prioritization. So we already talked about it, but this is really key. Figure out on what basis are you going to pr prioritize the items within your portfolio? How are you going to resolve these competing priorities? Um, what, what do you do when you have conflict? What, what about when you have redundant portfolio items? How are you going to deal with that? Uh, number three, have people at various levels of the organization involved in portfolio management. You know, we often think about portfolio management as something that only executives do, but really it's, it's something that everybody can have a role in. It's going to be different depending on where you sit. Uh, number four, I would say develop a really close relationship with some of the other practices that you have in the organization. The, the two big ones are financial management because you need money to do this stuff and then strategy management because you want to make sure sure that your portfolios are helping you to accomplish strategy. And then really number five here is to evaluate your portfolios. Make sure that your portfolio items are the right ones, uh, reprioritize them, adjust them on an ongoing basis because things change, right? And so you need to make sure that your plans and, and your portfolios change.